me, handshake emoji, lip products. Welcome back everyone. In today's video I am so excited to do. I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 of my favorite lip combos. I'm also excited because not only do I love lip products, they're some of my favorite things to talk about, some of my favorite videos to make is on not only lip products, but also just my lip combos in general. But today's video is also a collaboration and I am collabing with my friend Kelly or K Bella Beauty. And this is a fun one because I think it was our first collaboration way back in the day. I mean, I'm talking like 2016 2017 days we did like a spring lips video like our favorite spring lips so when she came to me to ask if i wanted to do another collab with her she said it was because that spring lips video like popped up in her feed and she was like we should do another one but on lip combos and i thought that was such a fun idea so if you're not yet familiar with kelly's channel go check it out we know each other from back in the day we are some ogs with each other and we have finally have been able to meet as well which is always such a joy to meet people in real life that you have known from online for such a long amount of time and i'm really curious to get her lip combos as well but i'm excited to share mine with you i have 10 here and this was me like cutting myself off like I could do part two, three, four, five, six, seven of my favorite lip combos. Like I said, there's some of my favorite videos to do. I do a lot of short form videos just showing my favorite lip combos and it's just the products that I'm really interested in right now. I'm trying different combos and finding out what I love the best. So let's jump into my top 10. All right, let's start off with the lip combo that I have on today. This is a, one of my favorites for a multitude of reasons. So I, I'm a big lip liner girl. I've also had some short form videos where I talk about why I love lip liners so much. I used to not love it again back in those 2016 days. I remember there's one video where I had this whole monologue about how I didn't understand lip liner or why people did it. It seemed like a strange beauty step to me and like a waste of time and now lip liner is constantly what i wear not only do i feel like it can help shape the lips um obviously i kind of overline my lips a little bit as well but honestly to me like shaping the lips is such a big deal i love having a base underneath it and if i put like a gloss on top or something that's not going to last as long i find having the lip liner underneath really um, prolongs the longevity of my lip look and then I can just you know add on the lip gloss or the lipstick whatever else um, as I need to touch up throughout but having that lip liner on just really to me feels like saves the day there's also so many lip liners that I use and I just use them as lipstick like I line my lips and then I just kind of a little bit more lightly fill them in so I'm still getting like that darker lip liner look to shape and then lightly filling in the rest of my lips and then I'm good to go and to me lip liner especially the lip liners that I'm recommending stay for such a long time so one of my favorite brands for lip liners is definitely ColourPop and they're very affordable I have a couple different ones from ColourPop that I'll be mentioning in this video but I've talked about their lip liners for a long time, I've recommended their lip liners for a long time. One of my favorite combos to do, and again, what I have on today, this one is an O Snap. I have gone through an O Snap, so this one is a little bit newer in my collection, but O Snap is an OG to me. I've had this one for a very long time, and this one is more of just kind of like your, I don't know, basic dusty pink shade. I'm a big fan of nudes just so we know big fan of nudes you are going to see a little bit of bold lips in here i've been slowly dabbling into the bold lips but nude lips is still like where my my love definitely is and this is such a beautiful lip liner the color pop lip liners just apply super creamy i will say that i i think that i have some other lip liners that are more long lasting than the color pop but to me they're still a great affordable option and ones that i go back to all of the time i do have a discount code with color pop and that is march beauty if you want to check anything out from them and then the gloss that I have over it is a very special one to me. This is one that I actually did in collaboration with Ofra Cosmetics. This is the Millie Gloss. So Millie is a gloss that I actually named after my grandmother. His name was Millie. But she would always wear this nail polish and it was from Revlon and it was this pearly shimmery shade. I was doing my collaboration with Ofra and I was deciding what colors to do and what to name everything. I really wanted to make something to signify her and the memory of her. I was especially very close with my grandmother, her passing. Um, I was 21 years old when she passed away and it definitely hit me very hard. So this was just such a fun way to do something in her memory and to do something that she would have been really proud of me. My grandma was someone who I could always talk to about any of my 
hopes and dreams and she never thought I was crazy and she always supported me so much when I told her I wanted to be a writer she I mean she gave me my love for reading and she was always so supportive of that so I know that she would have been so excited to see this collaboration so then we have the Millie gloss which is this beautiful pearly sparkly shade it's one of my favorites I have gone through a multitude of my Millie glosses and it's just in my opinion it's just it's so beautiful I love it so much I love the way it makes my lips look I love that it's still shimmery but without having that gritty feeling like there's no like gritty feeling in the texture of this gloss when I was doing my collaboration with Ofra this was definitely the hardest formula for us to get down because I was very specific on wanting to like match that nail polish color. I had a very specific vision in my head and I just it took us so many times that I almost thought we were gonna have to scrap this lip gloss so for us to be able to get it and get it to where it is makes me so so happy so this is available on the Ofra website you can purchase my glosses in singles or they do also come in a set you're gonna see another gloss coming up as well but you can also purchase them in a set of three and my discount code with Ofra is Samantha a lip combo that I have talked about for years and years and years and honestly like there was a point where i was like i'm not even gonna put in this video because everybody knows and i was like that's not true <laughs> you know that's not true um and some people might be seeking out you know specifically lip combo videos or something along those lines i do have new people coming to my channel on a regular basis so i'm like you know sometimes when people are like why do you always repeat yourself or why do you say things that we already know it's like well because maybe not everybody knows um you know we do get some new people over here so sometimes it's good reminder to mention some of my favorites and especially if i'm doing like my favorite lip combos this is one that i've continued to go back to for so many years and it is from charlotte tilbury where's my lipstick oh there it is it was hiding on the side i was like i could have swear i had my lipstick so if you've been with me for a while we could say it together iconic nude very victoria one of my most worn lip combos charlotte tilbury was the first like i, I really think that i can credit charlotte tilbury for being the first brand of being like okay i understand what lip liners do now because these lip liners are so long wearing charlotte tilbury has been my number one brand for lip liners for years and i have told the story in the past i walked into sephora i swatched iconic nude lip liner and then that swatch did not leave my hand like i was trying to get it off at the store and i couldn't i was washing my hands at home i was like why is this lip liner just staying on my hand what is going on this is such a long wearing lip liner so if that's something that you really are looking for in your lip liners which I usually do Charlotte Tilbury and her lip cheats are going to be great ones I love iconic nude again it's, just, it's a nude lip liner it's beautiful these remind me like when I put them on they do kind of remind me of the ColourPop I think ColourPop is a little bit more creamier this one isn't as creamy but it's still very easy to apply and I do think that it has the longer wear time than the ones from ColourPop but you're gonna see another Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in here as well but also very Victoria. Oh, Iconic Nude also, this is a fun story because you might think like, oh, is that your first Iconic Nude ever? No, my other Iconic Nude was like literally the size of the cap and it got stolen from me. My purse got stolen um, and it was in there because it's a favorite of mine and I immediately went out and bought it again. So it's like, you know, it's like those videos of like if I lost all my makeup or if someone stole all my makeup, what would I repurchase? The Iconic Nude. The Iconic Nude was repurchased after my makeup was stolen from me. Okay, but also very Victoria. Again, just one of my OG favorites. And this combo just works so well together. So very Victoria is the matte revolution formula and I love the matte lips from Charlotte Tilbury. This combo is just that beautiful classic nude lip look. That's it. Like, I don't know what else I could say. It's just, it's just such a classic nude lip look and I love it so, so much. This has been a fallback, a go-to, a everything for probably the last five years and i can't recommend them enough this is a newer obsession <laughs> for me but i did do a favorites video recently and i talk about both of these lip products and i wear these on repeat these days and they are a drugstore affordable option the lip liner is from hard candy in first move first move first line first move and the gloss is from catrice and this is their marvelicious liquid lip balm in don't be shaky this combo is just like it's just like such a match i don't even know what to say the hard candy lip liners also last so long they really remind me of like the charlotte tilbury when it comes to staying power again they're very easy to apply they're not overly creamy which i think it helps with the amount of the um, longevity as well and it's just 
beautiful this is one that i wear on its own quite a bit but the catrice lip liner these are kind of like a dupe for the um the givenchy marble lip balms this i like even more i put this in a buy this not that and i compared it to the tarte maracuja juicy lip plumps the shimmer glass ones and i said that i actually prefer the ones from catrice these just look so beautiful and this combo i truly i wear it non-stop the gloss just makes my lips look fuller and juicier and just it it's just so freaking beautiful and I, I said in my favorites video i was like i don't i don't say a lot like i really think that you should buy this because like it's your makeup collection it's your money it's all the things like yes i like to talk about my favorites or my fails or whatever but at the end of the day like it's totally your decision right i don't want to feel like an influencer that's like pressuring you to buy makeup because that's crazy but this i'm like it's so pretty you should probably buy it like and it's affordable you can get it on amazon like that makes me not feel quite as bad but like that gloss another very og <laughs> combo for me and another brand on brand for lip liner and lip gloss is from natasha denona and these are both from the my dream collection and i think they're just both called natasha under the my dream obviously this lip liner <laughs> I really love and this lip gloss I, I don't feel like you can see it that well like in the tube but this is one where like I'm scraping at the sides to try to get it out so this is a very well loved combo for me lip liner is just that like my lips but better type of pink nude it's so beautiful I really love the Natasha Denona lip liners they do remind me of the Charlotte Tilbury but I've said recently that I feel like they're almost kind of dethroning the Charlotte for me. I find myself reaching for these so often. I just recently purchased like four more of the Natasha lip liners because I just love them so much. You're going to see another one in here as well. So I don't like the Charlotte and the Natasha are like head to head to me right now. But I feel like the Natasha is like starting to overtake the Charlotte Tilbury. But this My Dream Gloss, again, this is just a my lips but better type of lip combo and that's why I just love it so much. It's this light pink, it's a little bit on that shimmery side and it's just, it's so stunning. It's literally, it's like, it's just such a stunning gloss. I'm so glad that I bought these. Actually, you're gonna see two more. Ooh, two more lip liners from Natasha in here. I do have an affiliate discount code with Natasha Denona. It is a Samantha March if you're interested in picking up anything. But this lip, lip combo, again, been a favorite of mine for probably a couple of years now, I think is when that collection came out. So let's move over into a bold lip and I'll keep going with the Natasha Denona. This lip combo really got me shook recently. I wear it so much. I actually just had this lip combo on yesterday too. It was, who my birthday was last weekend. I did... I did all of the things. I did all of the things with all of my friends. I was all over the city of Las Vegas. I was very tired, but on Sunday, I still had to do another event and I was going to flight club and I was like, Samantha, you need to look awake. But I was like, I cannot put eyeshadow on. Like I just physically cannot handle the thought of putting eyeshadow on. So I had basically no makeup on. I had some concealer and powder, mascara. And then I was like, I'm gonna do a bold lip. And it just makes, I feel like, a very soft eye look or even no eye makeup and then a bold lip people are like wow girl you look good you look i walked in and everyone was like you look so cute i'm like what are you talking about no i don't uh but i swear it's like the bold lip it's like trickery okay so if you're trying to like look more awake or look like you really tried just do a bold lip and this bold lip i love this combo because it does not move on me again i talked about this one recently as well but natasha denona this is her very pop lip liner Again, I'm so happy that I got this. I said that I wanted a makeup goal of mine in 2024 to be wearing more bold lips. I originally said red, then I changed it to bold because I've been really going for kind of more of these berry tones and even like pink berry tones and not necessarily just red, but just bolder lip looks. So again, love the Natasha formula. Really glad that I bought this lip liner. I did buy the lipstick. I honestly don't love it as much. It's more of a satin finish and it's just like not my absolute favorite. It's still pretty, but... Um, I wasn't going to include it in the lip combo, but I especially really love this one from Milk Makeup. This is one of their cooling jelly tins. Now, you can wear this for the cheeks as a blush, or you can wear it as the lip on the lips as a lip stain. I've only tried it for my lips. I don't really have an interest in using it on my cheeks, but this is a lip product. It truly is a lip stain. And to pair it with the bolder Natasha 
lip liner this combo will just stay and stay and stay on my lips and it is so freaking beautiful highly recommend these this is a very inter interesting formula like even when i swatch it it's very cold it does feel kind of like water it is a lip stain and i love the staying power of it especially because when i think of bolder lips one reason why i don't gravitate towards them very often is because I feel like when they start to fade, they just kind of look a little bit funny, if you know what I mean. And I don't love that. I feel like with nudes, when they start to fade, it just looks more natural or it's easier to touch up or it's a little bit harder with the bolder lips. And that's why I love that lip combo especially so much because I don't have to worry about it. Like once I put it on, I don't have to touch it up. I can eat nachos. I can eat tacos. Doesn't matter. It's not gonna move. Another like little bit bolder lip combo, if you will, not as bold as that one, but still kind of bolder. I also really love the lip liners from Rare Beauty, so I definitely wanted to give these a shout out. This one is in the shade Bold. We love that. I like these, I especially like that you can twist them up too. I think that is really nice because I am constantly sharpening all of my lip liners. But Bold is kind of more of this like terracotta type red brown i would say really like it though um the rare beauty lip liners honestly they remind me of like the charlotte and the natasha i just those are my two preferred brands but the rare beauty like falls right in there as well and i also really love the lawless beauty forget the filler lip liner lip plumping gloss i don't know if that's the exact correct phrasing but it's something along those lines it's a very long name but i've been raving about these glosses for a very long time i've gone through full sizes of these this is like their queen size is what they call it so this is like a jumbo size version of this one and this one is their cherry vanilla this paired with the rare beauty or even with the natasha denona uh berry pop it just because this on its own i okay so i also want to do a video kind of talking about how lip liners can also manipulate the looks of different lipsticks especially when it comes to lip glosses you can wear something bolder and then get more of a bold lip you can wear something softer so i want to do a video about that because i had someone ask me in one of my shorts on instagram i was swatching different um liquid lipsticks and i wasn't using a lip liner and someone said you just made a video how much you love lip liner how come you're not using lip liner in this video and i said because i want you to see what the lipstick looks like without anything else on it because it might manipulate the colors and they said well how and i said good question let me show you how so i am going to make a video about that as well but if you can see from the lawless beauty cherry gloss super beautiful um, and I just especially like to pair it with a little bit more of that bolder lip liner to really make it pop even more. Or you could pair it with more of a nude and it's just going to give like a little bit more of that slighter, like a cherry look to the lips. But I think that it's so pretty. I recommend these glosses all of the time. I just think that they're beautiful. Well, it's starting to get more and more difficult to get the swatches off my hands. So, so this is good. Um, but Let's go into, uh, kind of back from where we started, another ColourPop lip liner. This is in Beeper. Clearly, we also love Beeper, and this is my, at least my second one, if not more. I started wearing Beeper way back in the day as well. Um, and this is just a beautiful, uh, kind of more of that cool tone, kind of 90s vibes lip liner, if you will. I, a lot of times I wear Beeper on its own, and I think that it's so stunning, but definitely one of my favorite lip liner shades is Beeper. And then I love to pair this with Lily, and this is from Revy Beauty. So this is Ali Klein's um, makeup brand that she started, and this one in Lily, it's just a beautiful, like, tinted lip balm. It's so gorgeous. Again, this is another one that's kind of of how a lip liner can change a lipstick, because I can wear Lily on its own, and it's like this very soft brown, kind of like a I don't know if I'm gonna say like a barely there, but you know, if you, you just want like a little bit of a tint to your lips, like you can go into the slip balm. Or if you want it to be a little bit, have like a little bit more of an oomph, you can pair it with something like Beeper. It just makes the lip balm pop even more and it's so, so stunning. So the Revie Beauty lip balms are definitely a favorite of mine. A great purse lippy, very easy to touch up. I think that these are gonna be so fun for the warmer weather ones as well. All right, my other one from Natasha Denona that I love, my third one in here, this is Alona. Again, this is a lip liner that I wear by itself all the time. I freaking love Alona so much. It's more of like a pinky mauve, and I just think that it's so stunning. I love to wear this on its own too. Just beautiful. But if I am going to pair it with a lip product, this is, again, you're going to see a lot of like my favorite brands in here. Um, so definitely something you're going to notice because I have another one from Lawless Beauty. This is in Maple Sugar. This gloss is so pretty and pairing it with the Alona just, I, oh, it's, mm, it's just, it's so beautiful. Okay. So here is 
maple sugar and it's a little bit darker as well again it is a gloss but it really has some oomph to it as well it's it's pretty opaque for a gloss and it's just it's so freaking beautiful i love both of these on their own i love both of these together um again i have tried to have like cut back on how much makeup i'm purchasing and also how much i'm keeping so i feel like in my videos you tend to see the brands that are definitely a favorite of mine and the products that are a favorite of mine like i'm recommending multiple of these glosses i'm recommending multiple of the natasha lip liners color lip liners that sort of thing um but it definitely shows or hopefully shows that these are really you know my favorite another one from charlotte tilbury once again we have the iconic nude so i did swatch this one and then i really love this with let me tell you from color pop this is one of their glowing lips and this is in cockatoo this is such a fun lip shade and this is a little bit more on that pinky mauve side as well so so pretty i do think like love trap from charlotte tilbury could also work for this one mac whirl is also a pretty one with this one the video that i have to put in here i was doing the charlotte tilbury iconic nude think that it's stunning as well but the glowing lips from ColourPop, i've talked about these for a long time i think this was in like my 2022 favorites video was the one in cockatoo and it's like it's that tinted lip balm but has like a little bit of oomph to it as well makes the lips look nice and juicy and beautiful so i've been recommending a cockatoo for a very long time finally to finish it off this is another one that I feel like has kind of like a multitude of lip liners that could work for it. So I did want to mention Love Trap and MAC Whirl. So the gloss I'm going to be talking about is another one that I made with Ofra and this is in Queen. So the video that I have, I just did it the other day. I paired it with the Hard Candy First Move lip liner. So that's what you're seeing in the video. That's a great option. I think that it's super beautiful, but these are also some more of my favorite lip liners. So I just wanted to swatch these as well. So from Charlotte Tilbury, the Love Trap. This one is going to be a little bit darker than the iconic nude it has a, like a little hint of like red it's kind of like a red brown in this one but i love love trap i wear this one so often i think this one might be my favorite one to pair with queen but again i just you know kind of rotate things all around but also mac world this is an og lip liner for me as well love this one a little bit of that darker nude as well this is one that i can wear on its own i'm not a big mac girl um i never really was like a big big mac girl when i was first getting on youtube that was definitely a very talked about brand i do like products from them like i like the fix plus i like the lip liners and some of the lipsticks what was a honey love oh i loved honey love that also got stolen from me i always go back to the mac world lip liner so this is definitely one that i wanted to mention and then like i said the the gloss from ofra cosmetics this is in queen so this is another really special gloss to me this i made um because of my dog aries she did pass away in October, so sometimes it's a little bit harder for me to talk about her. I really wanted to make something for her, and I called her Queen. I have a um, a crown tattoo right here on my arm that I got after she passed, and I wanted to have it be kind of more of like a coppery, shimmery gloss because she was a Vishla, so her coat was a little bit more on that like kind of like copper red side. I, we called it rust, if you will. This is the one that I made for her and I have been wearing it so much recently. I just did a birthday uh, Q and A. That was the last video that went up on my channel. And I wore this one in there and just talked about why I created it and the special memories that it gave me. So as my birthday has been getting closer, I've been, or was getting closer, I was feeling some type of way because it was gonna be my first birthday without her. She passed in October after battling cancer for five months. So definitely I had a lot of thoughts and feelings going into my birthday. Um, so I've just been wearing Queen pretty much nonstop and I've been seeing a lot of you wearing Queen as well. So if you wear Queen or you wear Millie, my other gloss that I made with Ofra is in Peony. Um, if you wear them anytime, always tag me. I'm on Instagram, March Beauty Word. And it really means a lot to see because I know a lot of you, I know a lot of you loved Aries and you miss her as well. She was almost always in my videos. So her presence is definitely very missed. But I definitely had to mention the Queen Gloss because that's one of my most used glosses as well. It obviously has so many great memories. But after that, that is it. Those are 10 of my favorite lip combos. Like I said, I could do more. <laughs> if you have any favorite lip combos, lip liners, glosses, lipsticks, anything like that, that you think, girl, you absolutely need to try these out. Listen, this for the Sephora sale is coming up. I have a video of my wish list already, but if you think there's anything else I need to add to it, please drop it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to head over to Kelly's channel as well and watch her video. And I'm so excited to see her lip combos and what I'm going to have to pick up from her recommendations. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.